hello fam how are you guys doing um welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome back to another video um in today's video we are going to do a lot of homemaking and i just wanted to be to come out here and chat with you guys uh if it's your first time stumbling up on this channel well welcome to my youtube channel uh this channel is all about homemaking mom vlogs food and lifestyle if you like those type of videos well you are at the right place well in today's video we are going to do a lot of homemaking as i said uh i want to chat to you guys about faith you know for the past weeks i've been <laughs> not even not not weeks for the past days yeah I've been going through some I was just feeling a little discouraged and and I just thought I should share how I actually overcame this whole discouragement thing. Well, earlier this week I received um a bad news and I was just like god what's happening? I thought everything was fine. I thought we're going into the right direction. What is happening? Why is this all happening to me? You know, all these funny questions that you ask god and then at the point where I asked myself why do you have to think that you don't deserve to go through these things that you're going through and that probably somebody else should. You understand? So Earlier this week, I was just like, you know what? Uh, no, uh, I'm giving up on my faith. There's just so much going on. I'm so discouraged, and I don't even want to get up from, get out of the house and just go outside and get fresh air or water the garden, things like that, you know. So then, I was just like, yo, uh, I can't. I, I I don't think this is me, and I can't deal with the whole situation that is going on right now. So I started getting back on my feet again. Um, the good thing that the good thing is that I have so much support from my partner. We, you know, when he notices that I'm actually on my lowest, you know, somebody that is actually there for you spiritually and emotionally and physically. So they see what you're going through, and they'll be like, you know what? Fasting will will actually be a good thing for us to do. Let's do it for three days and see how you'll be with. Uh, during the process and after we are done fasting so we took up the fasting and i started gaining my faith back again and things have been just happening man you know so we're doing our morning um prayer afternoon prayer and evening prayer you know what you all do when you're fasting so i was i was really amazed by how things just started coming back together and you know and and you know when you're feeling so miserable and you in your misery you don't even want to get up and just do something like i did laundry and the clothes were just like piling there and i'm just like you know what i don't have time for this all you do is eat put the dishes there you don't even want to wash the dishes you understand so i started working on my nerves you understand and i was like you need to get up girl you need to start somewhere because you know nobody else is going to save you but you're going to save yourself you know, God is only going to meet you halfway, but you need to do something about it. So I remember learning something like um, godliness is uh, cleanliness is close to godliness. And, you know, I stood up and I was like, you know, my house looks a mess. I need to start doing something about it. I cannot just be drowning in my thoughts. And, you know, so I started cleaning up and, you know, I started. I started feeling good about myself and you know i was just doing things that that needed to be done and so the house was starting to look really just clean and i was just my heart was just at peace okay so i'm out here today to let you know that whatever problems you're going through right now that is actually a storm you're actually going through and Trust me, when I say God sends storms that knows that he knows they can handle it. Trust me, he will do that. So this is just another storm that I had to go through and definitely going to go out of this. And I'm all positive. And me just getting up and cleaning my place just gave me that thought to say, you know what, there's a reason why God 
gave me this roof and he gave me something to clean. He gave me something to wake up to. He gave me, you know, he blessed me. I woke up under a roof and me being in this roof, how do I actually appreciate me being in this roof or under this roof is um, me getting up, cleaning my space and just appreciating the little things that we have that other people don't have. So me noticing all these things, I was like, Jeanette, you're actually beyond blessed. So I started doing the things that needed to be done. <laughs> and I remember this verse. OK, so this is a verse in Isaiah and it's chapter 46, verse 6. It goes like, um, if I remember correctly, it says, I am your God and I will take care of you until you are old and with gray hair. I will help you and I will rescue you. My thing is, why do we always want to fight when the battle is not ours, actually? So I, I've learned that all I need to do is actually face it and not fight it. You understand? We, we always tend to take things up into our hands and do it the way we want to do it and forget that we're actually not the one in control. So I got out of my misery. <laughs> Guys, I got out of my misery. We started fasting. Things started going just... It, it was just going accordingly, you understand? So, and I started... I started um, getting clear visions on what actually what, what I actually have to do and how we're going to get out of this whole situation that we are in, you understand? So I hope I'm encouraging somebody today. I hope I'm talking to somebody today that you're not all alone. And if you see things are actually not going as planned, um, girl, you need to tend to God. Oh boy, you need to tend to God. Um, I'm saying this because most of the people that watch my videos are actually women. Uh, yeah, that's what the analytics are saying. So I really hope I'm encouraging somebody today. Just get up and get out of your misery and just uh, try and do something. Um, be positive. Have a positive mind. Uh, everybody's going through something financially or emotionally or whatever. Everybody is going through something. And I just want to encourage you that God is still there. God still exists. He is going to take you through whatever you're going through right now. And he will never forsake you. He will never leave you alone. He will never let you sink into any problems alone. He's definitely there by your side. You just need to get closer to him and actually we we chose a great thing to do actually to go into a fasting mode because that's when you really get closer to god and that's when you really get signs on what actually to do and how to get out of the problem that you are in so yeah um i'm actually just here to <laughs> encourage somebody honestly because i know it's difficult and we're all going through something and sometimes you don't know what to do but if you're watching this right now and you're going through something please tend to god trust me he's gonna help you nobody else but god Also, one thing I've noticed, <laughs> just being in a clean house uh, makes you think a lot more straight. Like, you you just think straight, man. Like, I everything is just falling into place. It's not like you, 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 the house is so dirty and you don't even know where to start. You don't even want to think of anything positive. Everything is just negative. So being in a clean house also helps you to think straight. And yeah, um, the other thing I like actually doing when I'm doing my chores around the house, I love listening to gospel or I love worshiping. So when I'm actually in, a, in the mood of doing my chores, I put on my music and I put it on really loud. <laughs> I put it on really loud and... Oh man, I just enjoy worshiping when I'm actually doing my chores. Like who doesn't? 
or and actually just listening to music while you're doing your chores who doesn't that's when the chores slaps right like my daughter always says oh mommy this food slaps so when you actually doing your chores and you're listening to loud music it slaps right so yeah uh, let me know what do you like what what keeps you going or how do i put it mm. yeah what keeps you going when you're doing your chores because for me is worshiping definitely worshiping i hope you're enjoying this video so far i hope i'm talking to somebody so far and please if you haven't subscribed yet please uh consider subscribing we are trying to take this mummy to 1500 guys i know i didn't really come out here and say thank you so much for a thousand subscribers i wanted to make that as a separate video but you know i didn't i didn't reach the 1000 subscribers all by myself and this is i thank you to each and everybody of you you guys did an amazing job i really really appreciate each and everybody that is on this channel that is always commenting that is always sharing my videos guys i yo i don't even know what to say right now but all i want to tell you guys is that you guys have been very much amazing to me um i'm really grateful i thank god for just uh blessing your kind hearts coming out here pouring out your hearts how you feel about the channel how you feel about me how i'm doing and where i need to improve and suggesting the videos that you want me to put out there i really appreciate each and everybody of you it's not an easy thing to shoot content honestly speaking i'm trying to be as consistent as as possible um yeah and honestly speaking 1000 we are almost 1500 yeah we are on 1160 something yeah so i'm actually rounding it off to 1005 we are close to 1500 and thank you to all of you 1167 of you that have subscribed you guys are just making i don't know you 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 melt my heart honestly speaking because if it wasn't for you today i don't know where i was going to be but yeah yo we it's such a huge huge milestone in the channel is growing guys it's it's really growing i'm i'm in disbelief like yo i know we're stuck on 280 for so so long and look at where i am right now um yeah thank you so much guys thank you so so much um if you're watching please and you didn't subscribe please do the right thing right now <laughs>thing i wanted to share to you is advice from people you need to filter your advice that you get from people um i don't know one thing about me i i love talking to my brother about whatever situation i'm going through not everything obviously but if i'm facing a challenge I know I can always go to him and say, Dave, listen, I'm going through ABCD, what do we do? And then we pray over it. And, you know, and then he will always remind you to say, Jeanette, remember you're going through ABCD? Look at where you are now. And I'm like, but it's true, ne? And then he's like, 
God, my friend. I'll not lie to you. I can testify God is doing the things. So when you're asking for advice, you should really know who you get advice from. And yeah, and, and I'm actually grateful for for the people that give me so much advice and on what to do. I really thank you guys so much. You, you're so genuine to, towards me and just trying to share your story also, encouraging me that I've been there and, I've, and trust me when I did this and that everything worked out for me. So why wouldn't it work out for you? So also getting advice from people that you actually trust, that actually have the best interest at heart for you actually works also. So um, advice, filter your advice, please. Can you believe it, guys? I've been on a coffee break. <laughs> I've been on a coffee break. Um, actually making for myself some jasmine tea that I got from my ex-colleague. It tastes really nice. It smells amazing, guys. It does. It's actually a relaxing tea. I decided to make this while I am busy folding our laundry. So, yeah. The love I have for plants, guys. So when you're feeding yourself, don't forget to feed your green buddies also. They also need to be fed. So here I'm just feeding my green buddies. They keep me going. Sometimes when, when I feel really down and I see one leaf coming out, I really, it, it what does it do? It uh, lights up my day. You understand? So feed your green buddies and when you remember to to feed your green buddies when you're feeding yourself please don't let them die don't let them die so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video uh i think i'm gonna end this video here uh not necessarily here but i am gonna end it or i'm gonna leave you guys with this message this just to say uh, please do not give up on life talk to somebody tend to god what works for me is actually fasting fast about the situation that you're going through it's not permanent um we all going through something and i just want to let you know that you you start you need to start thinking positive every time and you need to tell your problems that your god is bigger and he's gonna make a way for you i hope i encourage somebody today and i just hope you have a blessed week and yeah, just be positive for the rest of your life. I mean, because that's going to change. It's, it's, a, it's a huge life changer. I hope you like this video. Please do not forget to subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button. I love you. See you. Mm -hmm.